How's it going guys? So it's time for one of those what's in the bag videos. Since the last time I did one of these, which was like probably three or four years ago, absolutely everything about my setup has changed pretty much. Pretty much everything. So I wanted to go through all the stuff that I carry in my bag, uh, the bag itself, and just kind of give you guys a rundown of what my setup is when I'm either traveling for, for photography or going out and filming videos, which it's been a little bit since I've done one of those, but uh, hopefully we'll be doing more soon. So let's uh, jump into it. Also just quickly wanted to interrupt the video to remind you guys that I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of these companies. I'm completely unaffiliated. I dumped my sponsors years ago, just in an attempt to be brand agnostic and to swap brands when I find something better. So right now this represents what I deem to be my favorite stuff. And if anything comes out in the future that's better, I'm gonna dump this stuff and go to that. Kind of nice, right? So not sponsored or affiliated by any of these companies. So first off is the bag itself. This is the Shimoda Action X 35 liter version two. So it's the second version of the Action X. The Action X was already my preferred bag simply because I love all the extra storage space that you get on top of the bag with this roll top. And I went with a 35 liter, first of all, because I already owned a 50 liter and I wanted to have something different. Uh, but I like the 35 because it's a little bit shorter, a little bit narrower. Actually, it's mostly just shorter and it fits easily within a baggage sizer on an airline. So one of our biggest fears as photographers is having an airline attendant make us put our bag in the sizer because there's a lot of bags that are very popular that just don't fit very well. I actually had to do that with an Action X50 and I was able to make it fit, but just barely. I had to squeeze that thing. This thing would fit comfortably, so I never have to worry about getting the evil eye from an airline attendant. So that's why I went with the 35 liter. Plus it holds pretty much as much, pretty much as much as my Action X50 did. Uh, simply because I've got the same ICU in it that I had from that. That's the large ICU. And this roll top makes it to where I can put multiple coats still on top and in a smaller footprint, and I really like that. So first of all, on the side of the bag, we have my tripod mounted. My kind of go-to all-around tripod is my Really Right Stuff 2.4 Versa. It's uh, the Mark II version. Very happy with it. I've got it paired with a BH40, and it's just been a really good tripod. I also have an FLM tripod that I use for video, which I'm using currently. Um, but this is kind of my main, my main versatile tripod that I travel with. If you look down here, also one of the things they changed about the bag is that you can now, with these little clips, remove the side pouch and you could either take them completely off so you can use these pockets for something else, or you can put this on your waist strap, which I currently have removed, that way you can throw an extra lens or something like that on the, on the waist strap and use it kind of like a little fanny pack. Some of the most valuable storage on these Shimoda bags are these pockets that you have on the straps. And for example, I usually put a bottle of water in this one, but also in the bottom I always keep extra lens cloths because you never know when you're gonna need a lens cloth and you want to have them like in every pocket you can. On the other side, they've increased the size of this one so you can put a phone. But myself, I put things like flashlights and headlamps in that pocket just because it's easy access and I always know where it's going to be. The headlamp itself is one of my favorite little doodads. This is actually made by Claymore. And what I like about it is it clips onto your hat and then you have a couple different modes. So when you turn it on, actually it's dead right now, but you have this front spotlight beam, you have this top that is like a big flood lamp. And so you can kind of light up a nice, nice wide area with a soft light. And it's also got a red, a red LEDs on it as well. And it's all dimmable and it's very small and light. This thing is tiny. So if you're somebody that wears headlamps on the bill of your cap, like I do, these are really nice because it doesn't weigh it down and it charges via, via USB type C. 
So the feature that sets the Action X apart is this roll top design that they have. It's very similar to something you might see in a hiking bag or even like a dry bag. And it's expandable. So like if you have a bunch of stuff to put in there, you just don't roll it up as much and you gain all of this extra storage. Currently, I have things like I have one of my hats that I sell. These are the leave a better than you found it hats. And all the proceeds of this go to replant trees in areas that have been devastated by forest fires. So um, stocking caps and then things like puffy jackets. Quick note about this jacket. First of all, it's my favorite jacket I've ever had as far as a puffy goes. This is a jacket that is uh, a collaboration between enlightened equipment and elevated, so elevated. This is future editing Nick jumping in just to let you know that I misspoke. It's actually Evolved Supply Company. So if you're familiar with Darwin on the trail, he has this YouTube channel. Really cool guy. Um, he designed this jacket and it is so comfortable, so warm and really simple and light and, and minimalistic. Absolutely love this jacket. So getting back to what I keep in the top portion of this bag. That's usually where I put my jackets, things like that. Um, also put my Kimtech scientific lens wipes. If you've never seen those, this is what the box looks like. It's where I keep things like remote shutters as well as extra lens cloths. This pouch is accessible not only from the roll top top, but it's also got this zipper on the back and then you got pockets on the inside. And what's nice about it is when you're not using it, you just take the top and you roll it down tighter. That way you have a much more compressed top to the bag. And then on the inside of the bag, this is how I have my bag configured. So normally my video camera goes here, which is an R Canon R6 Mark II with a 16 millimeter lens on it. And then the main microphone that I use for most of my in the field stuff is this stereo microphone from Rode. I really like this for getting a sense of the environment and you know, getting all those nice nature sounds and stuff. Over here in the side pockets, I always keep nice large microfiber towels because I'm a seascape photographer and you never know when you're gonna get splashed. I have this, which has my other microphone kit. So this is the wireless mic setup from DJI and lav mics and stuff, which you're hearing me through right now. So my filters are these filters from Maven. They are magnetic filters. So you can just pull them apart like this. They're color coded. So I know exactly which filter I'm gonna grab when I go to grab one. Blue is circular polarizer. Red is a three stop because you use three stop for video. Six stop, 10 stop, and then a UV splash filter kind of thing. And I like to keep them kind of sandwiched together like this because I can just quickly and easily grab this whole thing and slide it in my pocket. And I've got all my filters with me in my pocket. And it's nice and compact and I don't have to mess around with any cases or anything. My main camera body is the Canon R5. And you notice that I've got the a different L bracket on here. You see the shape of this. This is made by Pro Media Gear. And what's cool about this particular design of L bracket is that it doesn't get in the way of these fully articulating screens. And you also gain a cold shoe and some quarter 20 threads up here. So um, it's a little bit larger and bulkier than the really right stuff L bracket. But I do really like how I can fully articulate my screen out and it's not going to get in the way of that screen. Paired on here right now, I have my 14 to 35 millimeter F4. This is my main super wide lens. 77 millimeter thread and it's pretty awesome to have 14 millimeters that accepts you know just circular magnetic or thread on filters really handy next lens is this one this is my 24 to 105 also an f4 also a 77 millimeter thread which is the 14 to 35 as well really like it it's nice and sharp gets the job done and really, really handy focal length to have at your disposal. 100 to 500, also the RF lens. I put this camouflage on here because I'm doing a bit more wildlife photography and I've found that white lenses stand out quite a bit when they're poking out of bushes. So um, 
I put a little bit of camo on here just for the little bit of wildlife photography that I do do. And it's also a 77 millimeter thread. It's also worth noting that this particular core unit that I use is the large core unit from Shimoda. Normally I have my video camera up here and you can see that it easily holds all of my gear. That's one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is that this core unit totally dictates how much gear you can fit in these bags. So in this back flap here, you can easily put, you know, coats and stuff like that. But this is where I normally keep extra batteries on this side. On this side, I keep my card wallet. And I also keep one of these little guys. This is just a little photography multi-tool made by Small Rig. Uh, you know, it's got Allen wrenches, flat flathead screwdrivers, Phillips screwdrivers, all the little doodads that you might need. Got this recommendation from Mark Denny. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, super handy little tool to have, and it's not too heavy. So that also goes back here, along with more lens wipes. And it's usually where I keep my rain cover and stuff like that so yeah i thought it was time to share my current uh, photography setup it's been a long time since i've done one everything has changed and yeah there'll be just links in the description below to all the miscellaneous random little doodads that i may have glossed over like shutter releases and lens cloths and stuff like that hope you guys are all doing well We'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll be out and about doing what I love and that's photography. So take it easy everybody and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye. Home to the mountain.